What's up everyone? Today's video is a quick one. It's just about using the JSON value function and one characteristic of it that I was kind of surprised to learn about. So I'm using JSON value, I mean all over the place, but I have this one query in particular where I'm extracting the value from a JSON property that's really long. It was like more than 5,000 characters in this example I'm showing on the screen. It's the 5,000 A's uh, property, which as you can guess has 5,000 letter A's. And the problem I was having is I was extracting this value and inserting it into a table, but I saw that the value that was getting inserted in my table was null. So I wanted to figure out why is my value null? And the first thing to check is obviously the original JSON data, um, which looking at it here, it definitely has the value there. So it's not like I have a problem with my source data. The next thing I checked was the destination table. I wanted just to see if the column that I was inserting into was maybe too small to fit that many characters, but I saw that it was an nvarchare max uh, column, so I shouldn't have had a problem inserting the data into there. So the final thing I decided to check was the query itself, which was using the JSON value function. So I've had this process running for a while and it's been using the JSON value function for a while, so I was kind of surprised to see it fail, but what I eventually discovered was that the return output of that function is limited to 4,000 characters, um, which there it is, obvious in the documentation, but it's just one of those things like you can't remember every detail about every function in SQL Server ever. At least I can't. And so sure enough, if I use JSON value on extracting properties that are less than 4,000 characters long, I have no problem. But as soon as I go over 4,000 characters, JSON value returns null. And I can change that behavior a little bit if I decide to add the strict modifier to my JSON value function, which will actually give an error message if I have a value that's trying to be parsed that's longer than uh, is allowed. But in my code, uh, I didn't have that modifier, so by default, JSON value just shows null when dealing with strings that are longer than 4,000 characters in length. So the solution to this is pretty simple. It's just to use the open JSON function instead. Um, it does mean I have to refactor my query a little bit, tweak how I'm doing it, but overall it's not a huge deal to kind of rewrite that query. As soon as I refactored my query to use open JSON, it was able to extract my 5,000 character string, insert in my table, and my problems were solved. So open JSON is actually more efficient to use than JSON value anyway, so kind of going forward, Anytime I'm able to use open JSON, that's what I prefer to use because it just performs better than JSON value and some of those other SQL Server functions. Um, you can't use it all the time, but if you can use it, it's a table valued function instead of a scalar function. So, you know, that's one of the reasons why it performs a little bit better. Uh, but as soon as I switched to using open JSON, I was able to get the full length of my string extracted and then inserted in my table without any further issues. And so that's it. If you're using JSON functions in SQL Server, hopefully this is something that you'll now know about and not get tripped up about uh, like I did earlier this week. Uh, so hopefully you won't have to change any of your code. Just remember, use open JSON when you can, uh, and I think you'll be less likely to encounter any kinds of issues like this in the future. So thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, press that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Thanks.